So here's the, what I do when I want to just balance the tire. <clears throat> I've got my two jack stands. I've got a, an aluminum rod that fits through the through the center. I just take my uh, my spirit level, put it on top of the rod there, and just try to get this as level as possible. And uh, <clears throat> on both sides, I get the jack stands as close as I can. Still allows the tire to rotate. And then what you do is you just spin the tire and uh, it just allows you to, or the wheel, it just allows you to, uh, or you can also listen to the bearing while it's spinning as well. And uh, if you don't hear any sounds, that's a nice little, nice little test to see if the bearing's making any kind of weird noise. <clears throat> but uh, what will end up happening is the, the tire will spin and then it'll kind of rotate back and it will find find its heavy spot which will be at the at the bottom and uh, so what I usually do is I'll mark it uh, opposite I'll, I'll go up to the top and mark it with a piece of tape just doesn't matter bottom or top but uh, <clears throat> then you start to I give it another couple of spins and if it keeps coming back to the same spot then I know I found my heavy spot now this bike has got some uh, weights already on it so I can uh, remove some weights and we're pretty close here actually. I think if I removed one weight, in this case what I would want to see is I would want to see the wheel come like this or something like this where the, the stem and the weights are kind of in line with each other. But uh, yeah, so you just play with this and you know this takes maybe half an hour or an hour and play with it, play with it, give it a couple of spins, you know, <clears throat> let it come to a rest and then uh, Add or subtract weights as you, as required, and and that's it. That's your home balancing.